This is PBA Super Bowl Sunday from the Mall of Asia Arena. Two games on tap today. At ang una magbabakbakan, ayan, naghahanda na Global Port Batapier. Led by, of course, that man, Gary Algranada David. Tapos kakalabanin naman nila eh, yung mga tropang texters ng talk and text ready to try to bounce back from a loss sa uh, huling laro nila. And uh, on this blessed Sunday, eh, we, we expect to see a lot of fireworks, a lot of uh, high-powered offense. Tira natin kung sinong mananaig dito because these two teams have something to prove. One team, talk and text, has been a perennial power wanting to get back on the winning track dahil medyo masama ang kanilang umpisa itong uh, Global Port naman magandang umpisa they want to prove that they're for real I'm Charlie Guna together with Dominic Oy Doms eh ano ba mangyayari rito eh yung standings medyo nagkapalit ng konti token text somewhere near the bottom itong uh, Global Port naman near the top when you look at Global Port definitely this is where, where they wanted to be dito sa simula ng ating konferensya meron silang gustong i-prove meron gusto silang, silang ipakita with the changes that they did at the beginning or previous to this conference ito namang token test kinakailangan mabalik sila dun sa itaas you know they lent their players to the Gilas uh, group but now andyan na yung mga players nila gusto nilang makaarangkada na dito sa ating shortened uh, eliminations at yun nga sinasabi na titinan natin ang team standings ah. solo third eh, fourth place na pala itong Global Port uh, batang pier 2 and 1 ah. tatlong laro pala dapat apat siya pero nakancel yung isa dahil sa bagyo no? so 2 victories and uh, great performance sa uh, Global Port beating the uh, Alaska Aces okay. at tapos itong token text naman 1 and 2 but nagaganon 2 straight losses by token text something that they're not really familiar with pag natalo sila ng isa usually nakakabalik itong token text even with their 3 guys coming back in that last game hindi sila nanalo but you know it was, a, it was an okay game for them against Miracle na ano lang sila talaga na Mario West sila nung uh, bandang huli but you know you, you understand also that Talk and Text is here to be able to win basketball games so it's just a matter of time before they come together and then start that rhythm that gets them going but Global Port very exciting this conference isa sila sa mga team na tinitignan ngayon how far they will go you, if you remember last conference they did have a good start as well pero naubos nung bandang huli ayaw na nila mangyari ngayon yun well you know just in the nick of time there's this fellow medyo masama ang shooting niya since the FIBA Asia pero in the nick of time Gary David sa huling laro niya scored in double figures 10 points none more important than huling 3 points na yon with 9 seconds to go to get that victory grab that victory away from the Alaska Aces so if you look at Gary David he's a guy that really needs a boost you know everybody is expecting him to score 20 30 points a ball game but he hasn't been able to do that pero maganda na naipanalo niya maganda yung tira niya yun. that 3 point shot could boost his confidence so if he's to start out hot in today's ball game, that's something that na he needs to look at this token text. And the panic is eh. You know, leading the charge for the Tropang Texter, none other than the best point guard in Asia. I mean, you know, the award speaks for itself. He was the mythical point guard in the FIBA Asia Championship. So you can't argue with that, Moniker, being the best point guard in Asia. This guy, Jason Castro. Oh, well, if the other guys haven't been able to adjust yet, Jason Castro, definitely a guy na parang uh, walang kupas. Parang uh, Gilas pa rin ang linalaro niya. So Jason Castro really just in a league of his own so far. Well, uh, speaking of Gilas, Pil Pil Gilas Pilipinas, let's hear more about the guys from Talk and Text who played for Gilas mula rito kay Sel Guevara. With Jimmy Alapag still out of the Talk and Text rotation, it's the rest of the Gilas boys who will anchor the team, but not all of them are on the same page. Ito si Nanidel de Ocampo is still rebuilding his confidence and surprisingly, sabi niya, he is still adjusting or readjusting to the PBA habang si Larry Panacero naman is keeping things steady hanggang uminit ang kanyang laro while Jason Castro is entering this game on a positive note what will keep them together abangan natin yan dito sa laro ito now let's go back to Dominic Casarly well syempre itong tatlong uh, Gilas guys are the guys to watch uh, panic ng tropang texters ngunit they have more than just these three guys we know kung gano'ng kapotent yung lineup ng tropang texters may mga Ali Ping pa dyan and then you have their import Todd uh, as in Tony Mitchell tapos meron ka bang Ryan Reyes I mean marami talagang weapon dyan and in fact if you look at it sa unang uh, sabak nila po Nasir Castro and even Ronnie Del Leo Campo did fairly well after coming off that long layoff well they did well na ano nga you know natapilok lang sila with the, the Morocco Bulls who played well in that basketball game they were there they were actually leading but in the fourth quarter, Morocco put on the pressure, put on the points, and they could not recover. But expect them in today's ball game to be able to, you know, figure things out. And one thing that Talk and Text has to do is they have to get down and play defense. Kung matitignan mo yung uh, mga statistics natin dito sa PBA in three games that they've played, they are the worst defending team so far. Oh, you know, which is very uncharacteristic. Hindi matutuwa ba nila po. Stop chance. Gusto nilang 
two na nang pansin yung uh, aspeto na yan ng kanilang laro. Unang posisyon sa ating laro. Goes to Global Port Batang Pier. Dahil natapik palabas ni Ryan Reyes at the jump ball. And ikaw nga nagsabi eh, yung huling laro ng uh, dropang sector na Guy David misses the first attempt in this ballgame. Na Mario West lang sila talaga eh. Game Mario West is splendid ballgame, 47 points. They couldn't control him, especially in that crucial stretch of the first quarter. Well, there was just no stopping Mario West in that ballgame. But talk in text, you know, they, they, they understand. They've been through a lot of battles. Yun ang kagandahan dito sa composition ng team na to. A lot of these guys have been there for a while. And they've also added some recruits. Guys like Sean Anthony, who's been a hard worker and played really well. Dunsa isang panalo nila this conference. Atama, you know, before saling saling laro nila, Sean Anthony was able to score six points and get eight rebounds. Pero bago nun, after the first two ball games ng tropang Texas, Sean Anthony was actually leading the league in local scoring with twenty-two and a half points a game. So na he's done his part in the early stages para offset yung pagkawala ng mga Gilas players. Now they're back. They gotta show what they can do. Deo Campo, turnaround jumper, doesn't go. Rebound, Marquis Cummings. Wala pang nakai score dito. 45 seconds gone by in this ball game. Marvin Hayes passes over to Nabong. They're starting together with Mercado, Cummings, and Gary D. Mercado to the hole against Raba Lusaini. He gets the match. A small lineup for Global Port, and you look at it, they, it looks like they really want to be able to run because, you know, Global Port, naman, kapag tinig ng mga statistics, a team that doesn't really get too many fast break points. But they have a lot of good one-on-one -on -one players. This and Tres ni Larry Ponacher, Sol Mercado. Having a good conference once again as far as assists are concerned, but almost six a game. Jumper ni Kelly Nabong. Hindi pa masok yan. Kelly Nabong has been having a pretty good conference. Don't we cover a couple of Global Court games wherein he's been able to pass it under him and get some good rebounds. Para rito kay Coach Junel Bakuli. Nakapakul na itong talk and text. Raba Alusaini getting the first two points. So, Kelly Nabong, the good thing about it is ang trabaho niya, gusto niya mag-rebound lang. Didepende siya ng import or ng isang big man. And he's able to give the rest, much needed rest for guys like uh, Jay Washington and even the import sometimes. Outside shot, Markeith Cummings. Di pumasok ang three-point attempt. You know, he's been able to hit a few three-pointers in his first three games. Para naman natin, mas komportable. See Marquise Cummings down there in the post or near the perimeter. Hayes able to tap that away. Nabong secure of the leather. Global port. You know, they have a different attitude this conference. Marquise Cummings wants to take another three. Bitin yan. And Ryan Reyes. Lagi pinag-uusapan ngayon. Bagong hairdo nitong hairstyle ni Ryan Reyes. All the way to the basket for another two. Para sa Tropang Texas which grabs the lead 4-2. Talking about Ryan Reyes, he was the one who tried to defend Mario West in the last few plays. Pero ganda lang talaga ng laro nitong si Mario West that Ryan Reyes did everything that he could. Mario West is still knocking down those shots. Of course, may gilimutan yung ano, yung maganda speed move dito si Mario West uh, which left Ryan Reyes almost uh, falling down. And a spin move to the basket para kay Mario West. There's a attempt from outside to masok for Global Court. But Larry for the share gets it right back. I like how Coach Norman Black is starting out. Larry Fonacher trying to get him. You know, you shorten that adjustment period. Yes, there is an adjustment. Hindi dun sa conditioning, but dun sa yung maglalaro ka with your teammates and of course a, a little bit of a different system that they ran in Gilas. So that's something that they will have to do again. Gary the bid on a five to uh, five points now in the first quarter. Good start for him. Getting all the way to the basket. To see uh, Tony Mitchell and naman natin gano'ng kapotent yan. We've already, we already got a glimpse of this guy's uh, Commissioner's Cup when he came in to replace the much bigger Jordan. And the, he was the smallest import when he scored pa rin sa mga 30s. Ito si Tony Mitchell in that uh, stint of talking text last couple points. He gets back-to-back -back baskets. We know this guy can pile up the points. Well, he definitely can pile up the points. In that last game against Morocco, there was a quarter there that he had 17. That was the second quarter. He was knocking down three-point shots. And also, pagdating sa fast break, may mga highlights din itong si Tony Mitchell. Here's Gary D. Feeling it early. Cummings. In the paint. Goes up. Natapit ito si Raba Luceni. You gotta credit him with that block. Ito si Ryan Reyes. Kicks it over to Fonacher. Sets his feet. Sato malakas ang press. Hayes taps it over to Nabong. Larry Fonacher tumingin pa kung nasa 3-point area siya. Here's Marvin Hayes. Rookie ito. Ngayon lang sa third conference, pinasok yan sa lineup ng Global Port. So this is his fourth PBA game. Gary takes a 3. 
Wide left hits nothing but air. Was distracted by the good defense ng Tropang Texter. Oh, you like how Larry Ponacher really tried to run after Gary David. Hindi niya tinigilan hanggat tumira itong si Gary David. Good defense always pays off. Ryan Reif, nakalibre ng konti. Shoots over Kelly Nabong. Bounces out yung kanyang tira. Ito si Marquis. The quick dribble. Avoiding the defense. Slamming into Ryan Reyes. Walang pito ang ating referee. Here's Tony Mitchell. We saw Tony Mitchell during warm-ups earlier. As we see Kelly Nabong. Nabangga ito si Tony Mitchell. Yung nagawa warm-ups sila habang sumitiyan ng uh, honest the boots. Mga perimeter shots, mga free throw, yung mga kakampi niya. Siya kung ano-anong trick shot ang ginagawa niya. Back to the basket. Hook shot from the three-point area. Ikalaro lang. Loose na loose sa kanyang warm-up kanina. Ito si Tony Mitchell. Problema kasi dyan para sa Global Port. Yung mga tira na yun, minsan pumapasok sa totoong game. Para kay Tony Mitchell. Maraming trick shot na nagiging totoo dito sa ating, uh, sa ating mga tunay na laro. Iniinsayo niya yung degree of difficulty ng mga tira maaaring niyang ipakita sa laro. Tama yun. Sa bagangat ito si Rani Del Diocampo. Wala nang bolang dala. Tinamaan itong si Kelly Nabong. That will be back-to-back -back personal scores against Kelly Nabong. That will probably neuter him for a while. That should fail to fully look perhaps to replace this big man early. Dahil dalawang foul na yan, maaga pa lang. Ito si Ranidel. Well, one out of ten from the field last ball game out. Uh, Dom's very uncharacteristic. Two points lang siya. Although nag-contribute nga siya sa ibang departamento. Eight rebounds. Four assists, huge numbers for a guy in his position, you know, playing the four. Eh, pero, di ba, yung puntos niya eh, yun yung inaasahan din sa kanya, hindi niya nadala nung huling laro nila. And he's running that Del Campo, he's proven that he is the best big man, or one of the best big men here in the PBA, so you expect a lot more from him. Cummings gets into the paint right there, and he hits that basket, first two ng uh, import ng global court sa laro nito. 13-9, lamang nito ang throw. Ranidel makes his move. Wants to finish at the rim. Walayan, Raba, follow up. Hits that rim. The bounce pass. Hayes to the bucket para a fast break layup using the left. What a great pass by Saul Mercado finding Hayes. He was really waiting for that perfect opportunity bago niya pasa yun. Kaya ko rin yan, off-hand ko pa yun Dahil si Marvin Hayes talagang kaliwete on one end Tony Mitchell gets a lefty layup on the other Ganun yung mga iniinsaya kanina ni Tony Mitchell Medyo ganun eh, oo The bid, down to Cummings, the side jumper Doesn't go, nabong batting pero tatlong blue shirts They get the ball, Ryan Reyes looking right, looking left Decides to go all the way in For that fast break attempt 17 to 11 lead stretches to six para sa tropa ng Dexter. Timeout is called by Global Port. Patang Pierre. Tropa ng Dexter is going on a run, running as fast as they can, and every opportunity grabbing six point lead. So they're pretty much on target because if you look at the average of talk and text dun sa kanilang uh, huling tatlong laro, they've been giving up over 100 points. So that's something that really they need to work on. Over 100 points yan, no, Talk and Text. Parang hindi mo masabi yun dati in the past few conferences para sa Tropa ng Texter. Charlie, hindi lang over 100 na 101. 107 points. Oo, oh, kaya nga eh. Cummings, bitin ang kanyang layup, tapi ka ng bola. And the white shirts will keep it. Sabi ng ating baseline referee. Fresh 24. Para rito sa Global Court, Gary David coming off that curl, the jumper. Bounces out, para sa kanya. Raba Luceni controls under all sorts of pressure. Taps it over to Marvin Hayes. Who gets the basket? Marvin Hayes! Delicado rin dos, when you save that ball or you try to pass it near the basket of the opponent, di ba? May chance ang makuha nila yan, hindi si basket. Uy, muntik na naman, ito si Tony Mitchell had it. An alley-oop. Back dunk nung huling laro nila. Ito, muntik na naman mag-highlight play. Bitin yun, pero the ball stays with the drop of sex first. Well, that's a good timeout. My global board, they were able to get, they, even if they didn't get that shot that they wanted initially, they didn't give up. They still got the two points that they needed. Si Raba Haluseni seems to have found a comfort zone dito sa drop of sex first. Alam naman natin, you know, he, uh, Transferred. He, he transferred. played for Coach Norman Black. So, kabisadong kabisado ni Coach Norman yan. 
won a number of championships in college with coach Norman Black. That's one of the reasons na Club Ang Texas were very willing to receive uh, Raba Luceni uh, sa kanilang kapunan dahil alam nga nila no, Norman Black brought out the best in Raba Luceni nung nasa UAP pa sa Ateneo itong si Raba Luceni kung kaya naman it looks like him, you know, clicking once again uh, Luceni has been starting ball games and been being efficient from the perimeter and the low post Nabo Goes over to Gary once again. Got up the opening to Gary but he's trapped. Kicks it out. Marquis Cummings. Cummings in the paint. Goes up strong. Drops it over to Hayes. And to see Marvin Hayes. Maybe they come that great move. Well, I like how everybody's alert on Global Port. Kapag nasaraduhan ng lane yung isa, they're looking for the open man and still getting the shot up. Three point attempt is long. Lead pass all Mercado. Masado malakas para kay Marquis Cummings. After that timeout of Global Port, mapapansin mo nag-iba yung energy level nitong Global Port. And that's what you want as a coach. Janelle Bakuli, you know, you want to stop a run and make a run of your own. So far, they're on a 4-0 run. Tony Mitchell trying to force it. Walang tawag ng ating referee. Ito na. Global Port wants to attack. Perhaps tie this game. Gary D takes it. And it bounces out once again. Alam mo, it's been a little off talaga yung shooting niya ever since the FIBA Asia Championship. He did hit a game with half time out. Ladder yeah. here gets that on the break. I want to share one guy when uh, Sel mentioned it that still wants to get his confidence going in today's ball. Definitely looks like he's starting out on the right foot. Here's Sol Mercado going into the lane, looking for a call. Marvin Hayes takes it from the side. Masado Malasian rebound for a share. Here's Jason Castro. Guy David and Kanya Kakampe. Just last month. Fouls to prevent any drive from the blur. And ito parang uh, gusto magpalik ng tao talaga si Norman Black. You see guys about to come in. You got Ali Pick and Aaron Allen waiting at the official stage. So, you know, again, that's a bench to Global Court of Warning for a proper bench to go. That was on the uh, team manager, Eric Ariola. Tropang Texters call a timeout with 3 minutes and 2 seconds remaining Dito sa ating first quarter With the Tropang Texters leading Nate Sports Radio And uh, we're back here at the Mall of Asia Arena Tropang Texters with a 4 point lead 3 minutes and 2 remaining I'm Charlie Guna together with Dominic Uy And you know itong uh, Global Port trying to get back uh, They were down early, they tied it up Tapos ngayon, Tropang Texters Turning it on once again, of course, with its change of personnel coming out of this timeout dumps. Nakita natin na eh, iba ng offense nito ng tropa texter. Well, expect them to run a little bit more and uh, to try drive to the basket a little bit more when you have Sean Anthony and Aaron Aban right there. Right Welcome there, gift. Oh. Welcome gift. Galang Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Natamaan ng si Aaron Aban barely two seconds into the ball game. Uh, Free throws agad yan Para kay Aaron Aban Tira natin kung makaka-apekto yun, yung tama sa kanyang mukha And you, know, you see that lineup Obviously Norman Black was seeing na Medyo kulang siguro sa rebound Itong tropang tech First puts a guy like Ali Pick in there Sean Anthony as well Who's been rebounding very well Para sa tropang tech First after coming over From Barako Bull Between conferences well, Aside from them uh, lacking a little bit of rebounding It's also on the you know, about the three minute mark. So the guys have been playing about nine minutes already. So, nagsimula itong si Raba, nagsimula itong si Larry Fonacher. Opting to rotate his players already here in the first quarter. Try to keep that energy level going because after that timeout of Global Port, na lapasan yung kanilang energy level. Sol Mercado. Bounces it over to Marquise Cummings. Nine seconds on that shot. Import. Cummings takes the jumper over me. Four points for Marquise Cummings. You know, Cummings, a guy that seems like he's really fit in with Global Port. No una, kita natin, you know, he's a good scorer, but now he's looks like he's settled into that role that uh, he's not really looking for his shot every single time. Anthony kicks it over to Aban. Aban's jumper from yeah, that right side. Four quick points off the bench para kay Aaron Aban. Looks like a three-point shot by Aaron Aban. Best by on, so five points off the bench para kay Aaron Aban. About a minute Not a problem And Aaron Aban Good defense as well On Gary David The ball goes back To the blue shirts Of Tropang Texas Ito si Aaron Aban Have that 
tendency to has the tendency to do that even uh, under coach Scott Reyes in the past. Na papasok niya off the bench, you know, he's hardly used uh, in some games. Pagpasok niya, pag kick out sa kanya, jumper pasok lagi. Ito si Aaron Abbott, very reliable. Oh, one thing you know when that happens is this guy works on his shots in practice. Saka laging handa, you know? pag nabuo na siya off the bench, he's willing to take that shot and he makes it a lot of times. Sean Anthony hustling para ma-retrain yung, uh, ma ma retain yung possession para rito sa drop ng Texters. A minute and a half remaining in the first. Nice feed! Pass throw to Mitchell. That's happened a couple of times. Four talk and text. When somebody isolate up top and then nasa corner yung kanilang import. Pag drive, whatever side, left or right, he cuts to the basket and he's gotten lucky twice. Ang at nasa siyam ang lamang ng talk and text. 26 to 17. Approaching the one minute mark. Jay Wash takes a three. Masato malakas yan. Rebound. Aaron Aban. Tony Mitchell up ahead to Sean Anthony. I think he wants to get the baseline. Mas muna. Anthony makes his move. Castro this time. The looper. Wala yan. Tapi ka ng bola. Who's gonna get it? Ali Peek. A second to go on that shot block. Tony Mitchell takes it almost at half court. Almost makes it hit the rim. Ito si Willie Miller, who's the best player that last ball game para sa Global Port. And agad-agad, nagpakita na kanyang spin move. Will you the defense that a foul is called? I like how uh, Mick Olin and uh, Coach Frankie Lim put it. Walang kupas. Oh, okay. Itong si Willie Miller. Still thrilling fans uh, after all these years. Uh, every so often, a splendid performance. Gets a victory para sa kanyang kumparan. Tapos best player sa game na naman siya. Cummings all the way to the rim. Para sa dalawa. You know, let's go back to Willie Miller. Don't, we mentioned it many times. This team hasn't been winning much. You see Lingana steal that ball. But when they do, he's always in the thick of things as far as being best player of the game. Well, definitely he's always part. A crucial peg for Global Port when they are in the race for a win. So, si Rudy Linganay over to Jaywash decides to take another three it rolls out 0 for 2 from 3 point but Linganay says I don't want to lose that ball pero naubusan ng oras si Rudy Linganay credit with 2 steals bago natapos ang ating first quarter good hustle but still his team trails by 7 Tropang Texters doing very well Tony Mitchell being spectacular as usual Marvin Hayes playing well in the first quarter para sa Global Port. Ngunit, ang tropang Texters ang uh, nangunguna ng pitong puntos sa pagtatapos ng ating first quarter.